a very unique insight as to where things stand are three conservative members of the Republican from Capitol Hill tonight, I'm joined by Congressman Jason Chavis, uh, Congressman Tim Hulskamp, and Congressman Louis Gohmert. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Good to see you all. Great to see you. Uh, thanks, John. All right, Congressman Chavis, let me begin with you. Your reaction to Plan B, what are you being told about the negotiations? Because my interpretation is we were going to be, you know, three to one spending cuts to tax increases or revenue increases. Now it's less than a dollar. So we're, well, what's going on? Well, what we heard in the morning and what we heard in the afternoon was very different. And what I heard in the afternoon, I actually really liked because given what's on the books right now, doing nothing, what is actually law is going to be the single one of the single largest tax hikes we've ever had. And so what we're going to do is if we do go with this modified, I think I would call it the modified plan B, it would actually be one of the largest tax reductions. We're going to protect about 99 percent of the people in this country from this massive tax hike. In August, we already passed one that took care of 100 percent of it. And also it did something what the debt limit it didn't uh, raise the debt limit even one dime. This morning, we thought it was going to. By this afternoon, that had gone away. That makes it more palatable. Well, Congressman Gomer, are you in the same camp as Congressman Chavis? Sean, we know that our big problem is too much spending. We know that uh, President Reagan fell into the trap and, and President George H.W. Bush fell into the trap. Uh, here, just, just raise taxes on somebody and we'll come along with cuts later. Look, we cut ourselves, our own house budget, over 11% over two years. That gives us the moral authority to say to every agency in the federal government, you're cutting your budget 11%. And not only that, in 2009, it was the Pelosi, Reid, Obama budget. And they spent more than a trillion, 1.5 or 6 trillion more than we brought in, which was around 2.2 trillion. So why can't we go back to their budget in 2008 and say, you know what? This was Pelosi Reid budget. It spent around 2.4, 2.5 trillion. That cuts over a trillion off of where the president is. Let's go back to the Pelosi Reid budget of 2008. There's a number of solutions, but spending has got to come down. I agree. While we assure seniors and veterans and everybody else, they're okay. We're not going to touch them. I, uh, Congressman Hills Camp, I agree with Congressman Gomer. It's spending. We've had very little discussion about cutting spending. The president's resistant. He wants tax increases, and he wants to humiliate, in my opinion, Republicans. The biggest danger I saw in the negotiations on Plan A was that the president wanted four years of a blank check, then he's talking about the debt ceiling two years, and now there was talk maybe Congressman Boehner would give one year of a blank check to the president? Tell me that well, Sean, part isn't I true. Well, Sean, I'm afraid that this is exactly the trap that uh, the president would like us to walk into to get Republicans to actually support a tax increase. And uh, over the weekend, we know the speaker offered a trillion dollar increase in revenues. We call I call that a tax increase and put that on the table. And if I was the president, I wouldn't have accepted either. I'd say I want some more. And now he wants the entire house to step into something, which, by the way, on May 23rd, Nancy Pelosi asked for this vote. She said, raise taxes on millionaires, and we'd be satisfied with that. So I think this is yeah. a serious distraction from the real issue, is spending. Republicans should be for something. We should put something on the floor, which is a serious attempt to address the problem of spending, and put that in Harry Reid's right. lap and say, the President, where are your spending cuts? Let, let me so, ask then all three of you the following. Because you, you guys have constitutional authority as it relates to the power of the purse. I would never give that up because I think it's really important that we, we need some adults in Washington. So the question I have for all three of you, would it be at this point, if a deal is not going to be reached, would it be good for the Republicans to pass their own bill? Is it Congressman Chavis? Is it, is it Plan B, Plan C? What is it going to be? Well, in August, we did pass a bill that uh, is sitting there over in the Senate that I think we all liked. If you look at what this modified version is, there's no debt le uh, uh, limit increase. What is the and difference in the modified version? It. 
Well, we, we don't have that. This morning, it, it, there was news that maybe we'd give them a two-year increase. There's no increase in the debt limit, which I think is, is what we need to do. We need to also make sure that 14 days from now, every single American is going to get a tax increase. And if I can protect 99 percent of, of the people in this country from okay. getting that tax increase, I want to do that. I think that's a responsible thing to do. I think it's a tax John, cut. Louis Gohmert, would Wynn, you support uh, that? Now, when, when Jay Carney says he's moved halfway on this thing, what you've got to go back and see is the president demanded an extra $800 billion in tax increases. John Boehner starts out, he says, okay, we'll do that. And what do they do? They move to $1.6 trillion in tax well, increases. Well, wait a minute. Wait, Which very clear. The president doesn't want to deal. Congressman Gohmert, deal. would you support what Congressman Chabot said he would support, about the 99%? It, it doesn't look good to me. Congressman uh, Hughes, Hughes, Hughes Sean, I, I will not support this proposal, but let's be clear. Plan A is still underway. There are still negotiations going on at the White House. Now, Harry Reid said this bill goes nowhere, but again, it distracts us from the real problem. And I think there are still Americans out there that yeah. think if you raise taxes on the rich, somehow that's going to Sean, solve a Sean, trillion dollar deficit. Yeah, if we don't Shader pass platform. something, it, if we don't pass something in the next 14 days, every single American has a tax increase. It's four trillion dollars to President Obama. I want to prevent that. We need to cut taxes. That's what a modified Plan B makes sense. If we don't cut spending, we're taxing our Amen. children and grandchildren out the Absolutely. Absolutely. That's ridiculous. Absolutely. All right, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you all for uh, taking time out of your busy nights. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. When we come back, David.